Hey, what's up guys? It's Lucas and welcome back to Fine Tuning. Today we're going to be checking out this guitar, which is uh, kind of a parts caster. Um, the body and the neck are made by Guitar Finish or GFS. And the pickups are DiMarzio's. It's a Chopper T in the bridge and a True Velvet in the neck. And then it has a Babix full contact Tele bridge, which is really cool, awesome design. And hip shot locking tuners, as well as a hip shot extender, kind of like drop D tuner thing, which you can kind of see the mechanism there. So you just flip it down with your thumb and you're an instant drop D, which is super cool. But yeah, this is a guitar that I built for, I say built, I assembled for a friend of mine, Danny, who is a, a super cool dude. And I wanted to show this to you before I gave it back to him. So um, let's just check out and see what it sounds like. Today we're gonna be using the Hughes & Kettner Black Spirit 200, which is one of my favorite new amp designs. I just think it's super awesome. Um, and I'm using it direct in, using the red box out direct into my interface, and I have the cab simulation off, and then I'm using an impulse response inside of my DAW, so that I can kind of more finely control it. Um, this creates out an amp, so um, all the tones, all the effects, everything is going to be coming from that. But uh, anyway, let's start off, let's check out some clean sounds. <laughs> dirt.
Alright, here's some noodling with the lead sound. put it on a chunky metal sound and now we're going to take advantage of this uh, D tuner extender thing here which is really neat so let me show you how that works so basically we're in standard right now and then to put it into drop D you just flip this thumb thing so That's a really cool idea, I think. Go. there's this custom build that I did for Danny um, super cool uh, I, I need to do really a whole video where I talk about GFS because I think um, there's some really cool stuff that you can get from GFS but there's also some stuff that's kind of questionable and I think you kind of need to know what you're getting into before you do it um, for instance uh, the main parts of this guitar that were GFS were of course the body and the neck and also some of the hardware like the the pots and this jack and stuff like that but um, it's worth mentioning that when I put this together I didn't do anything to it other than just to put it together first and then see what I needed to address. And right off the gate, or right out of the gate, uh, the guitar needed fret work. Um, so just be aware of that if you get uh, like a neck or something from GFS, you may possibly need to do fret work. So if that's not something you're comfortable with doing, then you'll have to pay someone else to do it and that could in turn increase the price of what you're actually putting into the guitar so it may not end up evening out that way. Um, so just keep that in mind. But anyway, this is really cool. I think Danny's going to like it. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you later.